Good morning, Devils fans. It's a bit of a rainy morning here, uh, but it's another day that ends in Y, so we experienced another Devils win last night. Like I said, Flyers came out with a bit more panache as we embarrassed them in the previous preseason game, so this was a lot more important to them, but we did have a pretty decent lineup, even if overall I don't think it was our best game. Our defense was fairly embarrassing, especially given the fact that we had Seeds and Dougie out there. I don't think it was their best game. Really the only defenseman I have probably anything positive to say about would be Smith, uh, who had some of his defensive lapses as well. Overall, it was just a really, really poor defensive game. I mean, uh, Vukovic and uh, Foot had an awful, awful, awful game. Uh, but there was a lot of positives from what uh, as well. Uh, like I said, I was at a wedding last night, so I didn't really get to catch too much of the first and second, uh, although I did go back and rewatch those last night. Uh, and... What I saw from the community was lots of complaints about Holtz, and at least re-watching the first and second, and I was able to watch the third live, and then over time, I don't know where those complaints were really coming from. Uh, he did have a really bad turnover in the second in the neutral zone, where he tried going basically uh, perpendicular to the blue line, and uh, to uh, Timo, and it got, I mean, it was just, it was a terrible, terrible pass. There is no sugarcoating that one. But he had multiple, multiple really good plays uh, throughout the first and second, uh, whether it was D-zone, uh, uh, takeaways, uh, transition, give and goes with Nico, great passes with Timo. I mean, obviously, there's the goal uh, where he put himself in a great scoring position. Uh, but that, you know, that's the obvious play. I'm really more focusing on those defensive zone plays and the little small things. And I really think he did a lot of that really, really well last night. Uh, again, aside from the really, really bad giveaway in the neutral zone in the second, he had a pretty solid game, and from the sounds of it, Ruff mostly agreed as well uh, from the post-game interview with him. Uh, another guy that really stuck out, obviously, was going to be Tyce Thompson. That was an elite, elite level uh, assist that he had there uh, on the first goal uh, when he came out of the box with Lazar. Lazar also had a strong game. Uh, now, I don't think he was exceptional. He had some defensive lapses as well, but I'll be honest, I think the entire team defensively was just yikes. Uh, obviously, the veterans are mostly coasting, you know, maybe playing at 80% or whatever. But, yeah, uh, offensively, the first and second period, I think, were overall pretty decent. Third period, though, was horrendous. <laughs> it was not good by the boys. Uh, thankfully, we brought it back in overtime to keep my 105-0-0 streak going. And, um, yeah, I mean, VTech played really well. That first goal really wasn't on him. Uh, Vakojevic got absolutely turned around, basically led to a 2-on-0 in front of the net. And... We didn't score an R2 on O. Hart made an amazing save, but you can't really blame a goalie in those situations too much. Um, yeah, I don't really need to talk too much about Nico and Timo. I thought they played okay. Timo more so than Nico. I don't think Nico had that great of a game, but that's just, you, you don't go too in depth on the bets in, uh, in the preseason. You really want to look at those borderline guys. So Smith, I think, basically guaranteed himself that seventh defenseman spot. Uh, Tice is continuing to put himself in that conversation for. If Bastion's not ready, maybe being uh, one of the starters until Bastion is good to go. But we'll see how these next games go to see where Bastion's conditioning is at. Uh, Foot had a really good game in the last one. So I definitely want to see both of them in the same game together. So I can really start to compare. But uh, as I said in the last video, management's definitely a lot higher on Foot. And I think Foot, Foot is more likely to get waiver claim than Thompson as well. So, you know, we'll just see how that continues to shake out. Uh, the uh, Hollow Mercer Palat line I'll touch on briefly, but again, uh, I just don't care too much about guys that are guaranteed roster spot. thought they played okay. I know um, Sam and... Uh, oh, God, I'm blinking. I know Sam was complimenting that line pretty heavily, but I thought they were okay. Obviously, the overtime goal by Hollow was amazing. They definitely had some great plays, but again, defensive blunders across the board from everyone on the team. Uh, yeah, uh, not too much more on this game. It's still preseason. It was the Flyers, even if they were fielding a much better lineup. Hart, I thought, played pretty great. Basically, the only reason that game was even as close as it was, considering how poorly we did play. And, uh, yeah, Holtz, again, I thought, played really well. Going to definitely continue to keep an eye on him. But him and Tice were the ones I was most keen on, and I thought they were probably two of our best players on the ice all night. Um, yeah. That's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, going to get back inside packing up as we're moving locations on this vacation. Uh, spending a few more days down here before heading back up. So uh, they are, uh, boys, just have a complete off day today. No practice, no nothing. So I'll see what there is to talk about come tomorrow morning. And um, uh, well, we should get some more roster cuts as well with Utica. 
uh, starting their camp here. Uh, I believe it is tomorrow. So I'll definitely be talking about that, about who remains at camp. I'm expecting a big slew of cuts, really slimming down the roster as we head into the real nitty gritty here of the preseason. So yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I will see you tomorrow morning, as always and forever. Let's go Devils.